it's Lovecraft Country. Ah, this is one sad topic, man. Yeah, you. I mean, look, this was one of the shows that I I saw the trailer and uh, I didn't know what to expect. And even after watching the first episode, I wasn't ex I wasn't you know. I didn't know what to expect from the other episodes, even after watching the first episode. Um, but the first episode started w with like a huge Lovecraftian fantasy sequence for like 10 seconds. Uh, no, actually it was 30 seconds. It was a big, you know, UFOs flying. It was a big war. They were giant monster with tentacles and all that shit. And I was like, wow, this series is amazing. And then the second episode was not th that good. It was very grounded and stuff. But then after that, this the show picked up quite a lot. Um, the third episode onwards, it was just every episode, every uh, week, it was just amazing. Um, the horror was not that much, but it was mostly dark magic, fantasy, and all that stuff. You know, monsters. So you know if you are a fan of all that if you're a fan of lovecraftian you know monsters and horror in that aspect then you'll definitely love this show but um after season one ended and that was a very bold ending um the series also had a lot of messages and the ending of the first season was kind of um i would say could be seen as risky uh because they were kind of changing history uh, American history uh, and they can do that you know it's fictional it's a fantasy and you know you have even the poster has a big tentacle monster behind them so <laughs> you know what this series is um, so based on that they were just changing you know stuff from the history and uh, I, I don't know why that was an issue but I guess that was um, the show showrunner uh, Misha Green had apparently she had a lot of plans for season two. Um, apparently, the cast and crew th were they thought that it was you know they were have to come back for season two. They were ready to come back. Uh, they cleared their schedule for uh, for this season two actually, and they just got the news that it was canceled. And even I thought that it was automatically a, you know, season two renewal because it was that good yeah. and people were watching it. And, you know, the black community was also really supportive of it because it was, it was I'm, I'm seriously saying it was really good. Like in every way, it was yeah. really good. So I don't know what led to the cancellation. Uh, I'm, it's, it's just a surprise to me. Um, and there was no reason. The reason given in the article was that the cast and crew and, you know, HBO agreed together that, you know, they won't continue this, which I think is bullshit because everyone was expecting a season two and it just, you know, canceled out of nowhere. Um, so my hope right now is that Netflix, the savior of all shows, <laughs> <laughs> comes in and saves this show as well um because i think there's a lot of great storytelling uh left here um so i was just excited after the finale and i'm still excited to see it i hope one day netflix picks it uh picks it up or someone else picks it up or even just hbo just renews it you know after one year after the merger or whatever have you guys oh. seen this I, I watched, I, I've heard you'd phrase about this show from you in particular, and when it was dropping weekly, I, I watched them, but I only watched the first three episodes, and there's a reason for that. I never watched any trailers or promos for this show, so I didn't really know what it's about. So I sat down and watched it, enjoyed the first episode, really liked Jonathan Majors, who's going to be kind of the conqueror in Ant-Man 3, maybe Loki, see? But we also <laughs> have um, Janice uh, Smollett, is, yeah. that, is that her name? Yeah. She was the uh, Black Canary or, or Canary from Birds yeah. of Prey. Was that the character's yeah. name? Uh, Canary? Yeah, Canary. So, pretty good cast. She was going to be in the awesome. Nightmare sequence in Zack Snyder's Justice League 2. Just kidding. She was playing in the movie a lot, so <laughs> she probably would have popped up somewhere. But yeah, I saw, I never watched any trailers. So I sat down and watched the first episode. And I was like, all right, cool. Okay, what's it about? 
then episode two came and there's like different supernatural elements happening werewolves i think was one of them and then vampires and stuff like that i thought it was kind of all over the place in terms of getting me engaged with the story and the characters like what is this show about if i watch the trailers or you know i might have known <laughs> that it's, no but it's supernatural even in the trailers it wasn't showing that lore. no it wasn't that. well for me I, I just i just found it hard to get into it so I never, I said to myself, oh, I get, I get, I get to episode four eventually. I'll watch the rest of the season, and I probably would have if season two was happening. And I'm surprised that it was cancelled because, in the comment section, in every post yesterday, if you go into it, people were upset. Yeah. They were really annoyed at this, you know, because the show was watched. It was successful, even if I wasn't particularly in love with it. A lot of people were, yeah. and I probably would have watched it eventually. So I was surprised to hear that this was cancelled. Especially when HBO Max is trying to become a big player. This is a show that's different from anything that's on Amazon yep. or Netflix. So to lose something like this, I think it's it a bad decision, unique. to be honest. Especially when the cast is getting bigger and bigger as actors. John Major is going to be a Marvel yep. film. It doesn't get any bigger than that right now in the, in the casting world. So to lose him, I'd be trying to hold on to him at all costs. Even if you had to cut the budget for season two. Or whatever the reason was for the cancellation. Because... Losing him could be, it's terrible. HBO hey, Max, the management there, that's just, that's bad management in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I saw the, the, uh, when the announced, uh, on the announced tweet, there was like, I think 2,000 likes, um, but 5,000 quote tweets. And I was like, wow. <laughs> and, um, like Aaron says, it's, it was a really solid show with a pretty dedicated fan base. And I completely agree. The fan base was huge. And yeah. I've never seen people who actually saw the whole show uh, say anything bad about it. So I think a lot of people got turned off by the second episode because um, at that moment, the, there was no signature style of the show because it was jumping between horror and some fantasy and some dream sequences and it wasn't was that the episode was that the episode of being chased through the forest yes. yeah that's yeah, that's kind of right kind of yeah awesome. because the series is <laughs> yeah. it, it's not really a horror um show it's basically fantasy because you see these monsters you see magic you see witches <laughs> you see all, all of that so um by the time you get to know all of that, it, 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 you know, it takes some time, like episode three or four. But then, you know, but by the end of the show, it's just amazing. Every character was great and um, it just goes to places you will never imagine. So every week you will just keep surprising yourself. <laughs> so that was, that was really cool and I just hope it comes back. Yeah. I I, I I watched it. I um, I really loved it. I I wasn't expecting such um, an interesting and uh, you know uh, deep um, uh, you know narration of um, of many issues for the African American people in the U.S. It was really interesting to see also the um, social aspects of you know this uh, beautiful story, but. Uh, Maybe it's different tastes. I think I I really really enjoyed the fact that uh, one episode one episode was tackling a different aspect of a super supernatural and uh, you know horror like aspect of fantasy yeah. from the other yeah. like uh, the one with uh, you know the chase and uh, I don't know the one with the haunted house. Yes. Oh, that yeah. that and episode that, she was just yeah. she just killed it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It, it's it's really it was really really beautiful and um, like I, I don't have numbers because uh, HBO Max uh, isn't you know so so uh, let's say um, doesn't share uh, numbers uh, very well. But um, I I know that the book the re the book uh, this story is based on uh, wasn't uh, uh, translated in Italian until you know six seven months back uh, six months ago because after the show they decided to translate it in italian as well because the, there was such a huge uh, cry outcry for this book to be released in so with a platform that is going worldwide in the next few uh, few years to cancel uh, 
a series that's so you know interesting so so beautiful with with such a huge huge cast and with so such beautiful you know visual effects um, mythology it it doesn't make a lot of sense especially if the producers and the the creators let's say and the cast were behind for a second season so yeah, yeah. i I, and it doesn't make sense now i'm really scared for you know um, raised by wolves yeah. and uh, the dune yeah. uh, record because if they cancel lovecraft country what will they do if next season of uh, raised by wolves doesn't do as well as they you know as they want will they cancel that as well i i think that hbo max should uh, should create a spine a strong spine of um powerful shows powerful and unique shows like these and not, not you know cancel them after season one or like you know maybe making series after movies um, cuts of movies released you know like the snyder cut the snyder's justice League. but <laughs> let, let's digress <laughs> yeah. but these these big businessmen and women and executives they don't like to blame themselves you know when they see the hbo max subscription numbers they want to blame the talent or yeah. the shows or movies that they're putting out. So they might look at Raised by Wolves, they might look at Lovecraft Country, they might look at the flight attendant and say, oh, well, that's the reason we didn't get our subscriptions. It's not because our marketing wasn't good enough. It wasn't because we didn't have our platform yeah. in all territories when it was supposed to be. No, it's because it was Lovecraft, Lovecraft Country's fault. Let's get rid of it. <laughs> that's the mentality <laughs> that these people have. They want to blame somebody else instead of taking the blame on themselves and say, we messed up in terms of our marketing. How can we do better for the next season of Raised by Wolves, Flight Attendant, and, and Lovecraft Country? How can we license it out to maybe a, a territory that has a bigger um, um, scope? Like, a, just say in Italy, whatever your main television company is, let's try and get it there so more people yeah, yeah. watch it and stuff like that. You know, let's try and work on this. Let's try and let's try and make this HBO Max as our show as a success. But I just think they like to blame talent or show the unsuccessful subscription rate they want it to be better and up there with Netflix but it's going to take time and it's not going to help by cancelling shows yeah yeah it really sucks and I just hope that they somehow bring it back